I, I watch your stuff too and you know big respect for being like a, uh, one of the mediums through which uh, music and culture is always transcending across the globe so I've always been a fan too you know watching your stuff it is no news that you know Africa has contributed to the growth of the world beautifully enough we know that Nigeria has been holding the fort and it is not by coincidence I see Africa as the motherland so every time you have like okay now's your turn yeah now's your turn thank but you. we're building we're bu on the you. black consciousness perfect of, of, of the African power so A parental support is very important yeah. especially when your child is growing up because they cannot really have you know direction that much they can only have a passion that's why I believe in spirituality but I do not really 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 trust religion imagine when your father is behind you or your whole family is behind you. Yeah. But that didn't let me down because then it had to let me also learn how to be tough. Hey, what up? It's Game, man. Nando. Hey, what's up? Yo, this is 50 Cent. Hey, this is Rihanna Fernando. Hey, yo, Fernando. What's up? DJ Cali. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is J. Bobby. Nando Licks. Okay? Okay, okay. Fernando. X is in that station for a reason, baby. I right? Nando Licks. Yeah, what up, it's your boy Fernando, a.k.a. Mr. Keep It Hot, Keep It Banging. Welcome to Real Talk, the podcast. Now, for all the mensen die uh, Nederlands verstaan en Engels niet verstaan, uh, klik op de ondertiteling. Volg het, ik heb meerdere internationale sterren op dit kanaal geïnterviewd. Mensen zoals uh, uh, The Game, Shaggy, al die mensen. Maar de man die ik in de beelden heb, is een internationale ster. Die man komt uit Ghana, uh, is naar Nederland. Ja, hij is naar Nederland gekomen, hij heeft een 1 bar sessie opgenomen. Maar hij is hier om te praten over muziek. Over uh, de, de highs en lows in zijn carrière. Wat hij allemaal meemaakt. En ik vind het tof om gewoon internationale gasten uit te nodigen in mijn podcast. Je weet het. Als je uh, het kanaal support en groter wil zien worden. En nog grotere gasten wil zien komen. Like it, share it, deel het. Reageer. Maar blijf vooral pushen man. Nando Leaks Real Talk. So, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Keep it hard, keep it bang. And your servant, Mr. Nando Leaks. This man is straight from Ghana. He's in the building. You know him as Stone Boy. Activate. <laughs> Welcome to my podcast, bro. Thank you, but um, I'm, I'm 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 grateful. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm really grateful. It's good to have you here, man. I'm, I really love um, everything you do, the energy you give, the vibes. Mm. Um, I'm 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 a big advocate or of promoting uh, music from Africa, which is right. Motherland, so yeah. I've been I've been ch check you out. So, so there's, there's a vibe. There's a vibe. Yeah, for real, for real, for yeah. real. There there is. I mean, I I watch your stuff too, and you know, big respect for being like um, uh, one of the mediums through which uh, music and culture is always transcending across the globe. So I've always been a fan too, you know, watching your stuff. Yeah. Love, man. Right back, man. <laughs> Only the realest, man. We Respect. do that. We do that. But like, um, the last couple of years, uh, music from Africa, the sounds of Africa, the, the energy is being felt all over. What's the secret ingredient? Because I've been listening to the music for years on and, and in my mind it's logical, but mm. what do you think is the reason that everybody is now captivated, captivated by the sound and feeling it? And Consistency. Consistency is the word. Not, you know, because we have all been consistent from long, you know, and um, it's just like, um, for example, the Black Lives Matter situation only went so very far because it happened again another time. Yeah. It's not because it's not been happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it's a consistency. Yeah. And that's why, you know, I trust that we have gotten to this point because you have been doing the very best that you've always done. And um, people from the continent, I mean, creatives, artists, you know, like, it is no news that, you know, Africa has contributed to the growth of the world a lot in several aspects. So our music also, therefore, must gain that attention at a certain point in time where we would all just be like, yeah, because guess what? I think from the days of our predecessors as well, they have been pushing it. They have been yeah. pushing it, you know? And to get to this point is just because we've been consistent with the push and I believe that if you give me 10 years from here, the whole Afrobeat sound and music from Africa, movies, etc., is, is going to be even bigger. Yeah. 
You know yeah. what I mean? So the consistency is going to get it bigger and bigger and yeah. better. Yeah. And, 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 and great <clears throat> artists that come from um, Africa, like you got a lot of Nigerian superstars. Um, but like when you look at the, the artists from Ghana, I'm still waiting to see more Ghana artists. What, what's, why do we see more Nigerian yeah. artists up front? And yeah. Thank you. Um, I get it. I love, I love this. I love this question because guess what? Um, I've been doing some very big international interviews and, um, one of the questions that come up is what you just asked. Yeah. Interestingly, it's never been asked before. Yeah. But now, It's been asked. Yeah. So guess what? I see it as, that's very nice. Because the next is to ask another guy from Congo to say, we see music from Nigeria, Ghana, Red Tete. Why is, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to explain. What yeah. I'm trying to explain is that I get what you mean that we would love to see more Ghanaians also. Yeah. We'd love to see more Gambian, more South African, more yeah. Congolese, more Mali, more... Yeah. Because Africa is a continent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to break it down into the individual countries, then you'd be looking out for more. Yeah. But if you want to see it as a collective, then you realize that more of us are going to come. Yeah. And that's what we want to see. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what we're all pushing. That's why you've given me the opportunity to be here at Nando Lakes. Yeah. Then somebody's going to see it from the Netherlands. It's going to get greater. It's going to get bigger. You know what I mean? But beautifully enough, we know that Nigeria has been holding the fort, you know, for a very long time, you know, and it is not by coincidence. It is not by, but I think it's not just by you know, by coincidence, but it is by who they are as a people coming from the continent of Africa. I understand how, you know, our different brothers, you know, and sisters behave, Yeah, you know, because there are similarities, etc. but there are distinct features that put all of us in a unique space, yeah. you know, and Nigeria has that tenacity, that force, that urge, and also blessed by their number. Yeah. So you can understand that Technically, they have to be the right people to be in the front. And I think they have done justice, just that. Yeah. Because assuming, um, and yeah, I mean, they have done just that, you know, it's, 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 it's really not for me, the number, um, the number factor is important. That's why I mentioned it. But I also mentioned the characteristics of a typical Nigerian first and foremost yeah. before the number situation. So why they would be in the lead is all these reasons, yeah. you know, plus. But we like it yeah. because it's same us. Somebody has to be the king. Somebody has to be the minister. Somebody got to be yeah. the queen. Somebody got to be the citizen. I believe we're all kings. You know? I believe that exactly. Um, that it's it's like like, I I see Africa as the motherland. So every time you have like, okay, now it's your turn. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Thank But you. we're building we're bu on the you. black consciousness Perfect. of 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 the African power. So Absolutely. so 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 but the reason I ask the question is because like a lot of people are like, oh but more artists from Nigeria. I know the bigger plan. The bigger plan yeah. at the end of the day. We're all from Africa, so yeah. the Af so the Afro beat sound yeah. is become big because a lot of Nigerians also live in Ghana. Yeah, so exactly. it's all connected. It's all the big connected parties in, in Accra. Exactly. You go to you you go to Ghana. Yeah, exactly. So so it's 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 we're one. Absolutely. And that's how I see it. That's, that's how, I how feel it, it is. That's how it is, and and that's how I've always also represented it. You know, everywhere I go, so that it doesn't feel like there is some segregation, but it's just inclusion. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that matters. And that's why I I use myself as an example because I also need to push so that the powers that can be added from Ghana can also join in. You yeah. Know, so that it's not left to only one people yeah. to be, you know, to push. And so. a lot of Ghana superstars. I mean, if you, I think Idris Elba's half Ghana, yeah, right? Yeah, he is, yeah. And Sierra Leone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, and there Stormzy? Are so many, there, yeah, Stormzy yeah. too. Stormzy yeah. is 100, but they live in the UK. Like, there are so many, so many Ghanaian, you know, um, um, superstars, you know, outside of Ghana who are doing like crazily well. Yeah. yeah. And it's also important to also 
come back home and 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 spread the love. Yeah, because I think it's very inspirational when you go back home. And it seems like what you're doing now, you're you're in the Netherlands, mm. you're here with me on my podcast. I, I believe you also did a, a, a 101 bar yeah, I did. session. I did. Boy big, so, big, big, yeah. big, big, big. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so that's also like connected. Cause Connect, me, exactly. Yeah. Because me and him go way back. Like I, I was holding down the fort on the radio. He was doing like all the the, the, the online rap yeah, sessions. So yeah, yeah. I also told to him I'm very proud of him, and he tells me I'm proud it's of you. Like how too. we we holding it down in the culture. Yeah, but man, for the culture, it uh, is. It's important to always think about the, the bigger picture. But take us back in time, like growing up in Ghana as mm. as 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 a, as a little stone boy. When did you come up with the name Stone Boy? Was it a name you had like when you were a little kid and you yeah. said, I'm going to call myself Stone Boy? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Livingstone anyway. Ah. Yeah, that's my first name, Livingstone. So Stone Boy. And the boy comes from definitely the rude boy, reggae yeah. dancer, Jamaica, vibe. Jamaica yeah. kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. And it's just because I think that early in the 50s, 70s, there were about the Jamaican music, especially Caribbean music, you know, was very prominent in, in Africa and yeah. therefore Ghana. Owing to the fact that reggae music, which would have been the one that I got way used to, would actually speak to the African situations, would actually speak to the content of Africa, yeah. about African liberation and etc. For instance, you see Bob Mali even did a song about Zimbabwe, yeah. Sizzler, they sing about Africa. So I think that, you know, that time, Africans could connect because there were a lot of cool guitars, etc. Yeah. happening, power struggle, etc. Yeah. So I think the music found its basis based on what it addressed the more, the consciousness and etc. Yeah. So I grew up, you know, also being one of the sons or the grandchildren of that feeling because yeah. we had a lot of reggae, big, big, big stars like Lucky Dube, Alpha Blonde, you know, Tikin Jaffa, Koli, Culture, yeah. you know, and, and that. So I got that feeling also from when I was a kid. And I realized once upon a time that no, I've had, I have so much love for, you know, this type of style that we can even relate over here, to yeah. over here. I mean, now I understand where it comes from really, really, really. Because yeah, yeah. as a child, I wouldn't really know. Yeah. But now I know that no, this thing goes right way back and yeah. finds its roots here in Africa. Yeah. You know, so you find Stone Boy. And that's how I got the name Livingstone, my first name, and then the boy from the Jamaican wow. Caribbean perspective, as somebody who loves music and has always been into music from when I was a child. And and, and, and your parents did they embrace it? Because a lot of times parents say, "We're gonna do music for what? Like like yeah, get get a real job. Get like a, real a lot job. of parents yeah. they look." Yeah. I mean, nowadays it might yeah. look different when they yeah. see artists having big mansions and be like, don't mm -hmm. you need to go be a singer? But like, exactly. how was that for you? How did your parents like uh, embrace your 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 your, your uh, music career? Yeah, I I I I believe that it was, you know, it was it was not really frowned upon, but I've had to prove myself to get support. Because yeah. it's just like nobody's gonna support you if you're not showing that this is worth supporting. How did you prove it then? You how know, did you so um I actually would, you know, it was like I right from when I was, you know, the bringing um um growing up, I would sing in a church. They, so they would encourage me to sing, you know, because it's gospel. Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would have to sing in a church. You do children play. I'm always involved reading the Bible, etc. Yeah. So the music factor was there. Yeah. So they didn't have no problem. Yeah. You know, you would sing, you would write, you do in primary school, you do. But at the point where they there was a decision to do music as a career, yeah. you know, at that point, I've had to prove myself that it was worth it. But I've had the support of my family from, from day one. Wow. It was only my dad who was not too, too observant. He didn't care what it was or not. He wanted to do something else. He didn't care. Oh, you know, he didn't care what it was or what you didn't do. So, you know, based on support, I got it from my mom and my siblings. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you know, that that was it. Until afterwards, then he began to pay attention to it somewhat and be like, okay, that's what my son does, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. How was that for you then? I mean, as, as a kid, you wanted yeah. your dad to you, see you. You get what I'm saying? As, yeah. a, as, a, as, a, as a kid, um, parental support is very important. Yeah. Especially when your child is growing up because they cannot really have, you know, direction that much. They can only have a passion. Yeah. So I think it's important for us to 
You know, so that is what I probably didn't get from my father. Yeah. But I mean, irrespective, growing up in the hood, I, it's not like I was even expecting it. If I got it, it would make a difference. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't even know what and, it was. What, like what would it have changed if you if you look back? Like, say, for instance, you mm. had it. What what would it have added to your career yeah. or to your personality or to your? Yeah, I think that you know it would have added a little bit more confidence as well. Because imagine when your father is behind you or your whole family is behind you. Yeah. But that didn't let me down because then it had to let me also learn how to be tough. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, I'm just embracing it the way it did happen. I was yeah. only sharing the fact that, you know, in some instances you get both parental supports and the siblings and etc. But I mean, it was only my mom who was really cool with it. You know, he would yeah. even give me money to do something I wanted to do. Yeah. Like to go to the studio, to go and record something. He would manage and she would manage and, you know, yeah. sort me out something if yeah. I didn't have yeah, any. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has always been my support, man. So rest in peace. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, she, she, yeah, uh, she yeah, died. Yeah, yeah, yeah she passed oh, this, at the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, condolences, man. That's heavy, man. That's very, very, very heavy. At the time when I won the BETs, oh, wow. you know, I couldn't, you know, that's just when I, by the time I go home, she fell ill for a very short while. Yeah. And then I actually went to the hospital to, you know, meet her dead right that moment. So, wow. You, you know, she is, it, it's really sad because she, she, she didn't really live to see, you know, what it really, really, really How is. It, became. it was, it was ah. just at the verge when it was about to happen for real, for real. Yeah. When, you know, Damn, but I know she's she's uh, watching yeah, now, yeah, man. <laughs> and giving you that extra fire. Yeah, extra of, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, man. I it's, believe it's, so. I believe yeah, so too. It's very important. Also. I believe how, so. How, how how important is is faith and belief in your life? Like religion? Are you very? Because you used to sing in church mm -hmm. as a kid, and yeah. now now your mom rest her soul yeah. isn't among us. Mm -hmm. Do you do you do you go more to towards your religion and focus on that or? Yeah. Um, I over, I've, I can never dispute the fact that spirituality is a big part of our existence, you know? So the physical and the spiritual comes together. So I believe in spirituality, but I do not really, really, really trust religion. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't trust religion that much. Why? Because religion is actually um, a system program for me that is using the fact that we are spiritual human beings, like it is the operation system of our spirituality, you know, the religion, that's how I see it. Like different people are using different operation systems. Yeah, but is, is, is it, you know? isn't it more the people that are using it the wrong way than the religion itself? Because it's, it's like I always say, mm -hmm. it's the messenger sometimes that brings it the wrong way mm -hmm. and the message is, is the key. And if you have the wrong messenger, and the wrong ears where the yeah. message comes to, yeah. then the religion has a different yeah. purpose. But in the in the key element, I think yeah. religion gives mm. hope. Exactly. Uh, comfort. Yeah, but the, I'm, I was trying to even break it down. I think uh, religion to me, like I said, is like a program. Like you're also saying, the messenger, a wrong messenger can still convey the right message, right? Yeah. But the probability of a wrong messenger having the wrong message is higher. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, I think, you know, the probability of a wrong messenger, you know, yeah. is higher for them to bring the wrong message. Yeah. You know, so... And how do you use that in your life then? Like, do you, like, if someone comes to you and say like, okay, yeah. you believe in God? You say yes? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I... I'm not sitting here to try to sound differently for anybody listening. I'm a huge believer of God. Like the levels at which I believe in God is, is, is I don't, I can't even describe it, yeah. which is the foundation of our spirituality, the foundation of our existence. But then now religion is what it is that I am growing to learn a lot more. I was born into the Christian faith. Yeah. But also, there are also the Buddhism, the Muslims, yeah. etc. There's a million faith. Yeah. And then there's the African traditional belief also, which has been really frowned, which has been really made to look very evil, yeah. to be honest. And growing up, I realized that the closest thing to that for me as a black boy is my, my true, true, true practice of how the program that we used to run our spirituality. Yeah. So if that program is not indigenous to our people 
or it's not indigenous form, then I think that there's something missing. Yeah. Exactly. So that is what I'm saying about the religion because this is not about black, white or whatsoever. If the the Indian is good with the Buddha because Buddha, Buddhism, they can relate. Yeah. You know, just for an example, then the black man can should also find, should also look to what they've been because I want to ask again, you know, these are the, the things that come to mind. I believe in spirituality. I pray a lot, you know, and, but, Sitting here right now, I can't lie to you. It's been no, it's a, only real talk. It's been a long yeah. time. I've 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 had to feel like I need to go to the church. I I need to, no. I don't feel that any any longer. You no, know, no disrespect. I I respect you know because my family goes to church. My you know, but personally for me, you know, but I pray a lot. Yeah, I pray a lot. I read the Bible, but I'm also open minded to you know. To, to to my spirituality more than having to put you know so much attention yeah. and focus on the religion yeah but when did that change was there a moment in life where it changed or yes I think when I I've always been this like this when I was growing up you know there are yeah. so many questions you want to ask even when we're even when we're being um, we're going through the church um, systems where your parents will go to church and right yeah. They'll teach you some stuff. They'll start teaching you about Jesus' story. They'll start teaching you about a lot of stuff. Yeah. Even at that point, there are so many questions that people will be asking back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. You know, what is really, you know, the right way? You know, people, we're still learning and we always want to know. So till now, I'm still asking. Still learning. The, 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 I think the beautiful thing is that I understand that the spirituality is more important yeah. than the programs that use spirituality. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that is actually a safe place for me. I know that you have to communicate with the inner, yeah. you know, and then read wide, get to know more than just what is in your religious um, background. So I can actually read something from Buddha and I would can relate to it and, and practice my spirituality with that one single thing. Yeah. I can also check something from maybe Judaism and that one can also make sense to so me. So you take elements I, and you just... So that's what I'm saying. I'm open to spirit. Yeah. You know, I'm open to to know more because, you know, they say the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom in the Bible. I fear God already and I have the wisdom and, 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 and therefore my wisdom, it, it will open because I... Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get vibes in. Yeah. So that's why I've always stayed strong by the loss, you know, lost my mom and all of that. I've always stayed strong. So... You know, I'm 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> and who's your who's your who's your go to person now? That because your mom was everything yes, for you. You yes, go to yes. you cry. You who do you cry to? Like who's your? I don't like uh, who do you show emotions. Really, to? Really, like, really don't have that no more, man. Okay. I don't have that no more. Okay. Yeah. I I really just go inside of me. Yeah. And most often, I do hear a voice. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Of my mom, basically. Sometimes yeah. when I'm in that space. It's just like I'm able to just communicate. Yeah. To to her. Yeah. That's that's how it happens so simply. Yeah. And I and I and I and I don't remember the last time I felt it just happens simply. Like if I wanna if I feel a certain way naturally and I think like I need a go to, yeah. Immediately it's just like I can start thinking about it with her. Yeah. And then I get the vibes. Wow, that's your like your 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 way yeah, of dealing. Okay, yeah, wow, yeah, that's special. Yeah. But it's also like like <laughs> like it's all special thing. Like like your mom, that's, that's uh, like your mom is the only person you could always talk to. Yes, and open, then now open, she's open, not open. here. Yeah, rest her soul. That that you're that you don't have anybody really to no, talk I, like deep, I talk, deep deep. I talk to people, but there's you see, like as a mother to a child, it's different. Yeah, there's, there's that one thing. Even the way she speaks it, even her voice, even. It does something to you. Yeah. So it's not like I don't have nobody to speak to. I really have my siblings, my big siblings. Yeah. You know, I've got my wife, I've got my kids too. Yeah. They give me different forms of joy. But that go-to person that I could have always, you know, is my mom. Your and mom, the yeah, way man. she departed was really, it's really like, yo, so unco- impromptu. Yeah. So I think there's an energy that still stays in that place yeah. for me yeah. that is able to connect me to, you know, reason it with her. Yeah, there's something I would never that. understand is that is that um, death death is so it comes like 
sometimes out of the blue. Yeah. And I know people say there's a bigger plan for it. Yeah. But when it happens to you or to someone that you love, mm. it's so, I don't know, it's it's so, like you see so many people hurting other people, yeah. they're still here. Yeah. And then you see the kindest <laughs> yes, people. Yes, yes. It, it like makes me so angry. Like yeah, why, right. why is it sometimes so... And I know there's a bigger plan, so I have to keep telling myself it's that. A bigger, yeah. But I get like, like nice, like, 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 um, my one of my, my ex girlfriend, her mom, the sweetest woman, mm. rest her soul, Ruby, mm. the sweetest woman in the world. When she died, I was like, "Well, why her? Like, why good people. That was like so my second early. mom. That's how she yeah, felt. Yeah, so yes, imagine exactly. if you call someone your second mom, mom how yes. deep that goes. Because my mom, yes. she's, she's like. On the next level, that's yes, in my and mind. Then there's a second but uh, yeah, yeah, that woman—it yeah. just—it was spiritually. She just, we just connected, which is right. When she died, it felt like a part of me died. Exactly, and exactly. That's why I that know, like, how, That's just how it felt too. That's just. That's why I cannot really describe or, you know, to be fair enough, I cannot put that go-to person on anybody as much as other people make yeah. definite impact in my life and also, you know, but that particular. It's special, you know, it's special, yeah, and you know, and, and, it can and, be replaced. And how is Tomboy as a father? Are you, uh, are you, are you, are you spoiling <laughs> your kids? Or are you, uh, yes, of course, yeah, yeah, of course. I think that's course. hard sometimes, man. Like sometimes I want to teach them discipline, but yeah, you know, right? You're right. Oh. I think that there are some of the things that we said we were going to do before we had kids. Yeah, we, we we're not doing when they're here right now. I'm going to discipline. I'm him. a discipline. Do, da, 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 da. I've never, I've <laughs> never hit my son. Not I've, one. I've, I've, hit, I've, like one time mm. on his pamper, yeah. like his, I was on his diaper, was like, yeah. I was like, you okay? And, yeah. and as a kid, my mom used to have like the boomerang slipper, yeah. like what Eddie Murphy talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that slipper had like a GPS. I <laughs> swear. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't know, like, I don't know what, what happens. Like, when you have kids, it, it, I don't know, it changes. Like, yeah, um, but but our parents whooped us though. Yeah, so we should check it. I don't know why. Why would are we overdoing it or, you know? Because sometimes I feel like we're just overdoing it. Yeah, we, we really have to bring the discipline in on yeah. time. Yeah, but it's also I, I think yeah I, I think I, it's about mastering the courage to be able to do both at the same time. Yeah, and thinking about how the child is going to 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 handle it. Yeah, so you might just don't want to do it. Yeah, but they did it to us. And yeah. it's shaping some of us a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my mom didn't slipper me <laughs> with a slipper with a boomerang. <laughs> I think it would have been difficult because I really, I really respect my mom when she says something. No, yes, yes. no, yes. And something when I say no to my son, he looks at me. Ah, right. It's like, okay, is this a no? Yeah, exactly. Oh, is this a no? So and then we've got the answer. That's, yeah, yeah. That's the missing bit. Yeah. But because when I send him to, uh. Uh, grandma, yeah, she has a discipline on him. I was exactly. like, exactly. She gave him the look, and he's like, uh -huh. <laughs> like, 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 grandma's different. Like, but I, I'm like struggling with, 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 with that and spoiling him too much. Yeah, because exactly. I, because, 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 um, I don't know. Like, there's no manual for being a father. Which is so right. in your mind, you're like, okay, a father used to, you have to provide. Yeah, because as a man, you have all these, yeah, all these pressures on your back. You gotta provide. You, you gotta, you, you, gotta you gotta be the strong. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. Like it's 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 a lot of pressure. Like <laughs> for sure, <laughs> to be a man now, wow. It's, 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 you gotta There's be sharp. There's a music that says that to be a man now, wow. Yeah, that that, that that's like what, legendary highlight music, but, and yeah, that really but, says stuff. So I mean, <laughs> no, but it's like like like. Well, I, I was thinking like, whoa, but but there's so much things we have to deal with also in this world, like. Also racism, discrimination, mm, people like, so many things. There's so much, so many social yeah. problems and internal problems yeah. and problems from the government too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then yeah, but that, that's that's. The, <laughs> but like, but how do you like? Because when you write music, right? Do you think about? Because there are a lot of like subjects to write about. But do you filter your your thoughts sometimes? Because music is so powerful. Uh, when you write about certain topics, say for instance, you write about politics. That's very tricky. Yeah. Because in your country, if you sing about it's 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 different. That's why a lot of artists don't mess with political subjects. Yeah. Uh All right. and and like do you do you do you do you look at what you write about and think about like yes. I might put it differently or Yes, hundred percent. Like on my album, I have a I on every album of mine I have one song that's going to speak to 
the reality of yeah. you know of, of of the nation basically, and so I've always you know been um, for me I've always been very um, vocal about it, but yeah. very respectful with yeah. it, yeah. you know, because there's there are several mean modes of communication that will actually change the situation. Yeah, because imagine you want to say it's something you don't say it the right way, you don't say it with a lot of respect. It might come across differently. True. So I have had some big songs that in Ghana would speak to certain situations and people love it. Everybody can relate. So, you know, I don't really shy away, but you're right because we have been told to stay away from politics, stay yeah. away from politics because it can ruin your career as a musician. So Stone Boy, Fifth Dimension, album out now. Go mm-hmm. check it out. Support it. <laughs> Who's on your to-do list? Like on to, to get on the album, your, your top five dream list. Oh yes, dream list definitely. I mean, I'm in Amsterdam, so I have to, you know, send respect to who's due. My brother Frenna. Yeah, we, we got in the studio yesterday and it was, you know, the my thing. Um, I would really love to do a Taylor Swift. I'd really love to do a Rihanna. I've done Shaggy on this album, so you know. That's oh, Shaggy's like, on this album. Too. Yeah, okay, that's like Mr. Boomba Stick. Yeah, top Shaggy. top. That's tops. I've done Angelic Kijo. Yeah. These are some of the top lists that I I've done Beanie, I've done Buju. Yeah. Buju's not released. I've done uh Bounty, Bounty, yes, Bounty a collab. Yeah. So in my, in my, in my, in my Ah yeah, I just jumped on a thing with Bob Marley too, like one of the stuff that uh, the, 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 the his label is doing. They're doing like an African, you know, oh, wow. version. So I did So a new project a, coming a new out. Project that, okay, that I mean it's yeah, Bob Marley is. We well, maybe you should get in the studio with one of his kids. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, me, me and Damien Marley are very cool. We're vibing yesterday. Ooh. We're going to get it. Uh, me and uh, I did a thing with a grandkid, Joe Messa Marley. Yeah. I done something with uh, Julian Marley as well. Yeah. We're good. We're good. I've done me and uh, uh, Rohan Marley is okay. very cool too. And me and... Um, Kimani Marley is going to be in the Netherlands. Super cool Kimani, too. Yeah, he's going to yeah, be in man. the Netherlands. I'm going to tell him, yo, work yeah. with Stone Boy. No, he's, he's, he's a big brother to okay. me as well. And I appreciate it. When you put in the word, it gets more, you know, yeah. it, get, it gets to be like it's supposed to be done. But honestly speaking, Kimani and I were supposed to have done a thing in Miami yeah. one time. But because of timing, I was moving about. So yeah. just to say that like, all these people are like big brothers to me and these are like foundations to the to the game. Yeah, yeah. You know, so even if for nothing at all, I've always reached out to pay my respect. Yeah, man. That's that was, legendary, man. Yeah, man. I also, I was playing a song with you and Jack Cure on the radio. Yes, the other time. Woo! Mad, mad. Everything is, uh, uh. Yo, hey, Cure, man. We, reco- lie, man. we recorded it here in Amsterdam. Yeah. Right here at Ginton Studio. Oh, dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Jack yeah, yeah. also always on point. Like, Super, super, one super. One of my favorite songs is Longing For. Mine too. When I li- when I play that song, I feel like the, the, the chills go, what am I lying for? It, it, it goes like, it, I can feel like his, I his, love yeah. that song. That's one of the songs that I can sing like, I don't know, that, like I don't want to sing. Yeah. But it just comes out my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we have some songs that you just be going around. Sometimes when you're, when you're in a good mood, <laughs> if it just pops out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Just yeah. Yo, yo Wolfram and our Papa. Wolfram, it soon come out. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Great artist, great artist. I've known him for years. Um, there are a lot of great... Th- th- that's what I love about music. I think, like, my whole thing with being a radio DJ that I love is, like, being able to... Uh, play records that I love. They say to me like, me and friend, I go way back. I remember playing his first records on the radio with SFB, the whole group. Mm-hmm. That's my passion. I think I get a big kick of, people ask me, why do you do what you do? Because I love contributing to culture. I yes. know that when I play, yes. press play on a button, you're pushing there are thousands of people that are just you're listening. I'm, I'm making yeah. them go into that whole right. vibe. Same thing with a new Davido album. Yes. No other radio station is playing it, but I'm, in the Netherlands, but I'm pushing it like crazy. As if I produced it. Yes, <laughs> as yes. if the veto calls me. Be Congrats, like, man. I've never met him, but uh, he seems like a very, uh, very, very good, cool that, guy. He's a great, great, great person. I wouldn't lie. That's like a brother of mine, you know. Okay. He's whenever he's in Ghana, you know, from the latter part. And, it's, you know, we, I also never, we, we never really met um, um, not too long ago, but we've known each other. We meet once and once, but now we're friends. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
We are friends now. Yeah. Any day that I respect that, yeah. that, that brother. To tell him hi, man. Tell yeah, him. man. Well, you know? Go on, brother. Good vibes, man. Good vibes. <laughs> Good right. deal. Let's, 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 let's uh, make a deal. Anytime you come to the Netherlands and you want to talk and vibe, my studio is your studio. I'll be there. I'll be here anytime. Yeah. To be honest. Anytime. I, I mean, you know, I mean, you know I've been the one that's like been on your neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then now I do get an invitation. Let's go. Yeah, bro. You're always, you're always welcome, bro. Like, uh, because we, we we tried to meet up earlier. Uh, but we make it work. Definitely. And now I got my own studio, podcast this studio. It's crazy. You like it? Yeah. It's chill. It's cozy. I'm going to stay here after the interview. Yeah, just stay Just relax. Yeah, I'm going to chill for a minute. Like, I just like vibe it. Just vibe it. Trust. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I want to I thank you for, for being here and keep spreading the love. Thank you very much, man. Uh, whatever so you need, I want phone call away. I'm definitely going to be on your neck like that. Not yeah. in a bad way, though. Yeah. But yeah. I, and I, thanks for pushing and promoting. And I trust that we're gonna, you know, from this album, we're gonna find some bangers from this album that will get me back here in the Netherlands yeah. doing amazing stuff. You yeah. Know? I also want to come to uh, Africa, Accra. All day. Anything. Yeah, man. I got, I got Just that. like you're asking me to bop, um, 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 bop in any day, any day, any time. Good vibes, man. Once I love you it. think it, once you know you're coming, let me yeah. know. I can say stuff. Yeah, man. Coming out there, chilling with Stone Boy. Because our Come place, in. man, is our place, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I got to go back to the motherland, Which man. Which is right. I got to go back. <laughs> Which is right. Yeah, Come man. To, you, you know you don't need a visa, bro. Yeah. It's in the blood. You know you don't need a visa. Forever. Yes, sir. Real talk with the one and only Stone Boy. It's your boy. Don't forget to support the channel. Um, subscribe, like, notification, and don't forget to spread the word. Because a lot of people check out the interview and they get knowledge, but share the knowledge. I mean, yes. if you if you thought that this conversation was thoughtful, uh, you learned something. I don't know, like you got some vibe from it. Share it. It's very important. That's how we grow, and that's how we keep the moves moving. Which is motivated wrong. to to just grow and just evolve. Yeah. We're dropping music and we're yeah. dropping knowledge in the fifth dimension. Which is one right. Stone Boy. It's what Which we do. Right. Nando League. You don't know. Keep it out and keep it banging. <laughs> 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 nice.